Moon Knight is strangely preoccupied with a goldfish, although he holds the key to unlocking the enigma of who Stephen Grant is. Stephen Grant has a one-finned goldfish named Gus in his London flat, and he even had his own promotional poster produced by Marvel before the show's broadcast. With the premiere episode of Moon Knight The Goldfish Problem, there is definitely a deliberate focus on Gus, however little it may be. Stephen's solitude in life is exemplified by Gus. Stephen's conversations with Gus are one of the few times in the first act that he connects with someone who does not reply, as seen by his voicemails to his mother and his interaction with the statuesque street performer. When you look at all of Moon Knight's characters, you'll see that few of them are true friends of Stephen. Even Layla only knows Mark Spector, the primary character who is Stephen's alter ego. Stephen lives in a world where he is largely alone. His interactions with individuals show that he is aware of his mental health concerns and resulting social struggles. Even if it's only for one episode, Gus has increased relevance due to the attention he receives from both Stephen and Moon Knight. Gus explains Stephen's situation in a figurative way. For one thing, goldfish are known for having short memory. However, research has dispelled this myth about goldfish, with tests demonstrating that they can recall items for months at a time. Throughout the episode, Stephen appears to have no recall of his life as Mark and has regular moments of bewilderment, although this isn't to say that his suppressed memories aren't accessible. It's one of the reasons Stephen's accent in Moon Knight is purposefully bad, Mark is an American. While he may not recall anything right now, things may come back to him in the future. The Finding Nemo analogy, which Moon Knight even mentions, is another metaphor Gus embodies. The original Gus, like Nemo, has only one fin. Looking deeper into the reference, however, Stephen finds himself in totally other nations with no knowledge of how he got there, despite his best efforts to sleep in his flat. Stephen will attempt to return home after straying away, like he did in Finding Nemo. The Goldfish's references may reveal some secrets about Moon Knight, not only about Stephen Grant. While this Atlantis Easter egg in Moon Knight is much more subtle, the Goldfish might be another connection to Namor the sub-projected Mariner's entrance in Marvel's Phase 4 comic. Of course, it's vital to remember what two-finned Gus means, which will most likely be revealed later in the season. According to Stephen's conversation with the pet store employee, Mark Spector had replaced Gus the day before Stephen discovered the two-finned goldfish. Why Mark would replace the goldfish is a conundrum that may be more complex than first thought. Gus's replacement might alternatively be interpreted metaphorically as Mark's character taking over Stephen. Whether he's a metaphorical doorway into who Stephen Grant is or a source of foreshadowing for the program, Moon Knight's goldfish obviously reveals a lot of riddles. Gus's more fascinating position in the program, on the other hand, is that he acts as Stephen's mirror. Gus mirrors Stephen Grant's current condition and prospective future, much as the shattered glass in Arthur Harrow's shoes as a window into his enigmatic past. Stephen Grant is an intriguing exception to the rule that few MCU characters have pets.